Hey, yeah, welcome back, guys. It's your boy Joko Graphy. Right now, we'll show you how to create a professional body flyer on your Android smartphone using your PC lab as usual. So, in this tutorial, I will teach you step by steps how to combine your color, how to combine font, and how you can do a kind of a tricks with your blending stuff on this particular application called PC lab. As one know that PC lab does not have a blending stuff, blending mode, you can blend anything or manipulate things as a uh, 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 as deep as that compared to other application but here right now we'll show you the tricks how you can do all those stuff and come up with presentable birthday flyer so without wasting much of our time let's get started the first thing is to determine the size of your flyer so for instance i want to use this 910 by 1350 so let's use this sorry so if you experience that just cancel the whole stuff reopen again cancel then you can reselect your size you can reselect 910 by 1350 okay so you should have this particular result so after that this is a custom background so the next thing we need to do now i have the image which i want to use along with background but how can i determine the color you can go to color pilot that's an application so when you get to this color pilot, import that particular image which you want to use. So check it for instance, I want to use this image for the design. So I have to upload it here. So this one will bring out all the colors that can go along with all this image. So bring extracting them. So what can I do? The first thing to do is to uh, choose the background color. So I want to select any of these for my background color. So let me go for this lighter one or the middle one so i will come here go back to the color okay go back to the background color tap here then you paste the code here just paste it delete the naira at the back then you click ok to acknowledge you have this result this is exactly okay so now we can do something by checking when you look at it it's just as perfect as this and reduce stuff so the next thing we can do after that is to head back to our gallery importing the one of the image you want to use for this stuff so take it for instance i want to use this so i'll position this to one one particular side okay so let me position it here but i will increase the size very well increase it so after that the next thing i will do is to reduce the opacity to bare minimal level so let's say 15 then after that i will copy so after copy i will position another one towards this particular side so after that i will make sure that uh, i lock the two so after that the next thing is to go to the shape having this particular shape you can select the circle one then you increase the size have a position around there not much okay so when you have a position just position it here then which color can we give this you need to come here which color can we give so i have to look at the color we can give i'm selecting this so selecting that i will go to the color picker so go to the pencil have this one being paste delete the narrow sign click ok and you position now copy the same thing we are going to turn on our grid at this level that one we can make it exceed this a little bit tapping here okay bring this one down as a kind of a demarcation click ok again then use it to demarcate perfect now click here the middle one which means the two are not really centralized i have to manually adjust them okay perfect so now when you look at it they are perfect now the next thing we can do after that we need to bring in another images take it for instance this then we are going to go back to our color which one are we selecting so i'm selecting this going back again go to color picker i mean the color bucket then we are going to paste the color the new one 
which we are suggesting to use. They let it acknowledge and make it work. Then after that, we we'll position that around there. Okay, cool. Position it around there. Perfect. Now better still, having this one deleted, we click OK here. Then we have this particular color. Go to color picker, position that here. Paste. Then you have this one deleted. Click OK. Click OK. Now go to color picker. Pick a new color of your choice. Then we are going to tap on the second key frame. Then we are going to position this one here. Tap OK. Then you have your color being work. So you can retap and recheck. So that is cool. Okay, good. So very good. So the first one that we are having here, you can just tap there, click OK, make or you, you pick from them. So we can just reselect or adjust just as this. Click OK. A little bit. Okay. So cool. We will have the same result. So let's adjust this very well. Okay, perfect. So now that we have the whole stuff, okay, cool. Wait. We can still adjust this to make it enter each other. Not this. So that everything will seem real. Okay. Perfect. Now the next thing we can do after that has been done, we can actually go with this. Okay. So we go with going there, selecting the image we want to use. So as perfect as this. So we select this, position it here. Okay, perfect. So it could be around this area. Or we rotate, making it be, or anyhow, it's cool like this. Perfect. Reduce the size a bit. Have a position around here. Okay, cool. You have to lock it. Now, the next thing I'm thinking we should do is to just hide this. Have this one be manipulated by bringing it to the front. Sorry, cancel. Bringing it up. So, when you're bringing it up, you can have a position around here. Okay, perfect. Yeah, cool. Or you still increase the size a bit. Increase the size a bit. Have it position here. Then you can send it to the back. Then lock it. Uh, possible, reduce the size a bit. I mean the transparency. Okay, very cool. Now, after that has been done, then the next thing we can do after that, we can still have this being copy. Just bring it to the front. So we can have this one copy while we get cut out the mouth and others. Okay, to make it look cool. So we copy this, send it to the back, then we can bring it in front of the chair. So why we have all this stuff, so we can cut out using what using sorry just position this here cut it out so we can reduce the size 
okay or better still cancel this then we can use our eraser to cut out the stuff use the eraser cut it out then let's see if it is too much you can still reduce the size so by cutting out the head alone so let's see perfect perfect so after that we can now reduce the size very well but it will still be showing a little to minus five cool so we can now lock everything now that we have our, the whole result out of our hand then the next thing we can do right now is to treat the image we want to use okay so how can we do that we just need this shift it to one side okay or better still let it be at the center so when you have it at the center it is not lock increase the size a bit have it at the center just as perfect as this just lock them then we go in there looking for the shadow perfect one so i'm going to download after getting there i will bring this one up i will serve as the basis of this okay perfect you can double double it to make it cool now i'm we are getting there okay so after you're able to do that you can lock it as well triple it if possible to make it cool so we are tripling this so when you triple it's not really reflecting well again we'll still guess it's cool okay so let's see after that has been done then the next thing is to just uh, put a finishing touch at the top so i'm bringing this particular shape which kind of a color i want to use so let me among all the color book it here which one am i going to use that will be okay so still checking 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 so i'm thinking we should so let me see whether i can improvise here so we have this particular one having it here go to the color apply a color for it uh, okay let apply color for it so when you apply that you can reduce the size reduce the size or we come here let's look at the color we can use copy this so position that one there we can use the pencil to paste the color so we can reduce the size very well so after that copy just give this one black straight or the deep blue so we should be able to have what we want with this so why we are going to increase the the hardness of this one should be able to give us what we want so after that i'm thinking we should just reduce this a little bit as well to something like a, let's say five or six okay cool now let's add some touches so while we're going there bringing this it should be an options okay and then you go to crop rotate yeah position it around there you can reduce the size have a position should be an option go to color and change the color automatically so we can have some other cool color at this juncture to be pasted so we go in there just paste the color delete the error acknowledge it and boom you are good to go so after that has been done then the next thing we can do since we already positioned that here uh, at least we can still 
position this here. After positioning, we can shed more light on this using this. So let's go to color copy. I will copy this. Okay. Then position. Okay, perfect. But this should not be the same with the previous one. So we need to reduce. The same thing I'll be able to do should not be the same. But should have a touch of something. So like this one, use a color picker. Pick a color, pick the quality of this woman. So don't let it be too much. So we'll go to here and increase. So let increase this the bright uh, the hardness. Okay, perfect. So now after that has been done, I will put some finishing touch. Let's see check whether we still have more like uh, this. So you can see we have all this uh, purple stuff of everything. So we can go in there and crop the one we wanted. So take it for instance, we want this. Perfect. So when we want that, okay, the thing couldn't be in form of circle. So let's just bring everything in. Let's bring it in. So you can cancel or reduce it, change the color to so whatever we wanted. Okay, very cool. Now after that, then the next thing we can do, we already polish everything, lock them. Then we go into uh, the text area where we have happy. We have happy birthday. So there should not be spacing between them. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. So let it be in cap. Go into the text, I mean font type. Select Multizera board. Reduce the size well. Go to line spacing. I mean alphabets or letter spacing. Increasing and you reposition here. Okay, cool. Cool. your increase just let it be around here then which kind of a color are we giving this so we can go with our blue color okay perfect now the next thing we can do put in the date so 24th 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 October 24th October then we can close the spacing between them go into the font select the board one let's say achieve board increase the size very well if possible rotate this a little bit just rotate it like this So have it reduce a bit. Perfect. Perfect. So manually adjust it a bit. Okay, cool. Cool. Now the next thing we need to do is to wish where well and put some other write up. And how that can could be. So the next thing we can do is just to go in there, have this being written happy okay we have an happy so another one will be so i'm thinking we should uh, put that here so let's say we have i'm thinking we should just have happy baby
okay position that uh, reduce the size reposition wall so we have this and which color can we give this so let's just think what about if we give this particular color okay so we we'll have happy so which font can we use so let's use archivo archivo or well, we should use this now bring it to the front reduce the size a bit reduce and reposition happy then we are going to copy this birthday happy birthday so having this the composition that uh, happy birthday okay perfect now some write-up can follow this why you are going to copy the two bring it up a bit okay perfect so now you can reposition this wall so we kind of color can go with this so i'm thinking to have this to change to something like blue so if blue color can stay there blue is not really working so we can maintain the previous color or still fix the store here which we create for ourselves so have the color being changed to make it fitting so we can change it okay perfect so that could be cool so now we can have the whole color being changed to this so let it be more darker a bit so why we make this one more darker as well okay perfect so we have an unhappy birthday here so instead of this we can adjust this a bit okay perfect perfect so let it be more gooder than that okay cool cool okay very cool so now the next thing we can do is to put in some finishing right up so i want to just having this let me just take that one there so we have wishing and going there so wishing wishing you a wonderful wonderful birthday wonderful birthday and fantastic fantastic year I heard okay okay very cool so reducing the size well just position the size and have the position here now go to the font select achievo semi bold achievo semi bold so now after selecting that increase the size increasing the size well and find a place to fit it in here to find this play a place to fit it in so if possible you can have a switch to multi-zera at this juncture if that could be the perfect one okay good so now reposition this to the center just centralize so close the space in between a bit don't let it be too much so after you're able to do that then the next thing we can do is to have this particular shape being cropped here have this one so when you have one we are changing color for that okay so go to your 
width which should be okay so we're going to reposition why we position this one here change the color then you can merge the two together after succeeding in doing that just shoot it let it be together then you are going to merge it so after merging we are almost there copy just bring it down just as perfect as this bring it down just bring it down perfect so now this is cool so the next thing we can do the third one which we have at the bottom here what we are going to do is to copy so when you copy it you are going to position it on top of everything why this will go down so let this all this should go down it should go down then you bring this one to go down let it go down why this should go down as well then you are going to be monitored and be checking them we are making sense okay so this should be going down and let it be on top of that now check it the whole stuff now we are making sense make sure that you lock everything so that your hand will not scatter what you have done lock them okay perfect now what is the work of this one we need to find what we are going to use it to do so you close now everything seems to be cool now the next thing put the name of the by the celebrant so we have um so let's say dr missix dr miss missix so now the issue we normally have is what where are we going to point this okay so very cool so just put the name at the kind of here that could be cool look at the perfect font that can actually portray it. what you actually want to do with that dr mrs or we use semi bold but which kind of color so let's choose this particular color so you put the name very tiny okay put that name here why you copy dr mrs wall michella anyway this is for educational michel this is for educational purpose anyway michel michel so position that one there then you increase the size increase it increase it okay perfect so when you do that we we'll position this now you need to change this boldness the boldness of this particular so if better still we go for font again look for achievable select the regular one that one will be more tiny now we have the name here okay perfect then the next thing we can do after having that what would be at the uh, second hedge here so we i'm having a bad feeling about this font here so if possible i would select another multi-zero to be the perfect for that why i'm going to reduce the size for this so reselecting this to make it closer a little bit and this is boom okay okay perfect now the next thing we need to do is that i have to show you a lot of tricks here okay so uh, what i want to do i want to copy okay i will merge this together merge the name together okay merge the name merge the name merge it so there's a lot of things which already been imported here so it's likely to be doing that so copy this so i'm going to position it at this junction too so why I wait okay if you are experiencing this it means the number of the layer you have selected in your pc lab is too much what will you do what you will do is that quickly save your project otherwise you will lose anything okay you will lose everything so you be our ubu so save it so when you save it still click wait it has done okay so next time it's repeating that you are going to shut down everything so shut it down so you now reopen don't open again go to your project 
then you bring out your work so he said it must have been correct by that so now reducing the opacity for this so that you'll be showing okay very cool let it be showing so now we're good to go okay so this one we're going to reduce the size a bit have the position around here okay perfect now let's put some a kind of a decoration to make it look awesome so i'm bringing this one in you can see it so bring it in click ok go to the color it's just select a better color for that so i'm going to reduce the size have the position around there could be the best so what you need to do is to copy position it here perfect you see it's making sense position it put it at this corner perfect now see go back look for more so i need a light radiation okay so i have to radiate some light and now that one can be <laughs> sorry this is cool right this is cool so what i'm going to do is what just position that at this two edge will be the best for me position this one just make the chair make it to be uh, reasonable as well so after that just copy one as well and you have a position around here so that is cool right so the next thing we need to do see facing the store where you have all those uh stuff okay so i'm still checking and looking for more okay okay so now i've seen one so i have to use this okay so i need the third one so you go to the crop crop this particular one crop it reducing it sorry reducing it so you have to position that here so position it so now scroll it down scroll it down scroll it down very good so that will be around under that we give us the what we want so now we are, we are almost done anyway okay we're almost done and everything seems to be cool exactly as perfect as we want so like this one that we're having here so i want to reduce the opacity for that one more so reducing the opacity to make it a uh, look cool so let's say 83 now the work is done and this is exactly perfect exactly how you can come up with a, a professional belly flyer on your android a smartphone using your pc lab as usual i believe we'll learn something from you thank for watching god bless you don't forget to save your work with ultra as dimension and format with png have your work being say boom and it is done thank for watching god bless you